What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Beer Tree Brew Company and they're out of both Port Crane and Johnson City, New York and this is their overexposure. So they're calling this one a, a double New England style IPA that comes in at 8.3% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less than time of review. This can is just over one month old. So it's been a while since I've reviewed something from a Beer Tree, especially a hot Ford beer. Might have been a couple of years. I don't know. Um, it's been a while though. And uh, I saw this one recently. It was quite fresh and I picked it up. I was sending out some beer mail. So I picked up a four pack of it and I decided to keep one for myself to review. So here we are. Now they are using, I believe uh, for this one, Strata, Nectaron and Amarillo hops. I thought it was a very intriguing hop combination, but on top of that, I believe, could be wrong. I think this is the first uh, beer I'm reviewing with Nectaron uh, in it that's a non-hot butcher beer because that's the only company that I've seen that use it frequently anyway. So anyway, let's crack this one open, get in the glass here. We got the hashtag proper glass or the beer tree glass. So here we go. Yeah, so nice pour there. Throw this over here. That's beautiful. Yeah, so that looks like a uh, New England style double IPA very uh, honey, there's a honey color, it's a little bit yellow, it's a little bit lighter, has about a, just over a finger of this super creamy looking head, very murky and turbid, can't really see through it, like a lighter turkey gravy, maybe a butternut squash soup, I don't know, something like that, let's get those. Okay, ooh, I'm getting a ton of orange. A ton of orange, um, tangerine, nectarine, maybe because the nectaron is just playing my mind, but I feel like the Amarillo and the nectaron are kind of come more to forefront than Strata. A lot of times Strata, people are getting, you know, strawberry or generic berry in general, not really getting that in the nose, more citrus heavy. A little bit of like a mango and a papaya. Yeah. As I kind of swirl, it has a little bit of like a malt character. Coming up like a little bit of a caramel breadiness. Yeah, in general, it smells pretty good. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Has a lot of zesty, pithy, sweet citrus character. More orange and tangerine. Maybe a little bit of like a candied uh, pink grapefruit. After that, there's a touch of like a stone fruit. You could say peach, apricot, nectarine, something like that. But I'd say more of like the peach and apricot realm. Uh, not super sweet, kind of just like a ripened uh, peach. On the back of the palate, there's a slight dank, earthy character. And uh, it finishes semi-dry with a mild to moderate bitterness. The body on this one, 8.3, really nice. It's like a touch over medium. Maybe straight medium. So maybe a little bit touch thin at 8.3%, but it's fine. The mouthfeel, it's soft, it's smooth. Uh, there's carbonation, but it's like mild, mildly uh, carbonated. It's not super creamy or anything, but the mouthfeel is appropriate for a New England style. It's really nice. Is it blowing me away? No, it's not. Um, is it really nice? Yeah, it is. Pour the rest in here and we'll give it a rating. Again, I don't think this is anything that's like blowing my socks off because I've had so many, you know, eight to eight and a half percent, you know, New England style double IPAs that have just been amazing. This, while really nice, easy to drink, no off flavors, uh, nothing really going awry here. Um, you know, getting citrus characters, a little bit of stone fruit, uh, nice like semi-dry kind of finish on the back of the palate. It's balanced, it's tasty. But there's not much more to say about it. I mean, this is a very... It's gonna say it's gonna sound bad, but I, I mean this in a in a good way. I think this is a very simplistic double IPA. This is something that if you're kind of in the mood for you know an imperialized version of a hop forward beer that's 8.3%, that's you drink a couple of them, you're feeling good, but you don't want to be overwhelmed by like a ton of different complexity and flavors. This this would be for you. Candied citrus, uh ripened peach, a little bit of like an earthy uh kind of dank finish and uh really well balanced not too sweet not too bitter not too dry just really good i enjoy it so overexposure from beer tree no problems given that is straight four out of five really solid nothing to uh, write home about but at the end of the day for what it is there's no complaints here the uh, price point availability 
I bought a four pack of it. I believe it was $19 a four pack. So, you know, kind of in the realm of your $18 to $20 uh, double IPA uh, four packs nowadays. So right in the wheelhouse of that. Uh, and availability, Bear Tree gets quite a bit of distribution at this point. Um, I want to say that even uh, a good friend of mine, a couple good friends of mine, a fellow beer tubers, Ridge over at Ridgeopolis, like, hey, get a nose on a beer reviews, or get a nose on a beer reviews, Ridge, I can't, I have to say it that way. Uh, and Tyler over at Southtown Beer Reviews, I think they get drops of, of beer tree stuff occasionally, and Ridge is in Delaware, and Tyler's in Tennessee. So probably, I would say, in your neck of the woods, if you're in the northeast, or maybe even a little bit down south, you probably see the maybe occasionally, not all the time, uh, but if you're in New York State, you should see these all over the place because I can get them at a bunch of different places at this point. And Beer Tree makes good beer. This is another good, fine example of what they have to offer. It's just, it's in this day and age, it's hard to separate yourself from the pack. I don't think this really does, but I'm not disappointed at all with what I'm drinking. I just, yeah, it's nothing crazy. So anyway, oh yeah, 8.3%, they hide the alcohol well. And even with that thin body, I might believe that this is more of like a six and a half, seven percent. And by by I mean thin, I mean it's like medium bodied. So a lot of eight point three percent are a little bit over that. Um, this is, might be like medium touch under at this point, but yeah, it's fine. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.